This video will address the question, why is cell confluence important to consider when preparing cells for an experiment? Let's start by defining what cell confluence means. Confluency is the percent coverage of adherent cells in a cell culture dish or flask. To answer our question, we must first understand the differences between cells at certain levels of confluence. As cells grow and divide, their growth characteristics change with density. Cells in culture produce a sigmoidal growth pattern as they undergo four phases of growth, lag phase, log phase, plateau phase, and cell death. Each of these show differences in growth rate, metabolism, gene expression, and intracellular activity. Experiments are most commonly done on cell cultures in the log phase and the plateau phase. Let's talk about the differences between these two stages. Cells in the log phase are moderately confluent and are replicating quickly as they double in number with each division. They are expressing genes related to transcription regulation and mitosis and are using lots of energy to replicate. As space on the cell culture dish becomes limited, cells enter the plateau phase. Contact inhibition causes changes in gene expression and increased cell-to-cell -cell interaction. As primary cells exhibit contact inhibition, they become arrested in the G0, G1 and stop dividing. This is more closely representative of certain cell types in vivo. Contrast to primary cell lines, continuous cell cultures are not limited in growth by contact inhibition because they are transformed into tumor cells. When designing an experiment, the cell culture confluency must be considered as it could influence the results. Let's go over a few scenarios to better explain why. Dumont's experiment studies cell-to-cell -cell interactions of healthy endothelial cells. He should perform his experiment on cell cultures at a high confluency. These cells would be in plateau phase where they are touching one another, which is how these cells are found naturally in tissues. Dumont's experiment looks to see if a particular drug decreases her cell culture's growth and replication. She should use moderately confluent cells in log phase because they are growing at a constant and fast rate. If you are still unsure of what confluency your cells should be for your experiment, consider performing the assay with cell cultures of increasing confluency to see which produces the optimal result. As we can see, confluency of your cell culture is important to consider when designing your experiment. When determining what confluency is appropriate for your experiment, you should think about your cell culture type and the biological process you are studying. 